Hello and welcome back. Let's do a quick review of acetylcholine pharmacology in treating disorders of movement and cognition. Um, this can occasionally be a little bit of a confusing topic, so I came up with this little formula that seems to work every time and helped me out when I was learning this stuff, so hopefully it helps you out as well. So the general formula goes something like this. If you have a movement disorder, you want to decrease those unwanted movements. And to accomplish this, you want to decrease acetylcholine. So the arrows follow one another. In contrast, if we have an issue with cognition and we want to increase our mental abilities, increase cog, we will want to increase acetylcholine. Simple enough. So please keep in mind today, we're talking about treatment. We're not really talking about mechanisms of disease, although you can kind of figure uh, that out for yourself. But please keep in mind with movement disorders, uh, there's a lot more going on chemically uh, than just acetylcholine. Okay, movement disorders. So again, what's our formula? We have unwanted movements. We want to decrease movements. We want to decrease acetylcholine. So what are we gonna throw at this? Uh, well, there's two classes of drugs we typically use. One, the anticholinergics, anti-chol. Two, antihistamines. So right off the bat, a good one to know, and you probably already all have memorized, uh, would be benztropine. Um, this drug also has some antihistamine properties, uh, but park my bends, Parkinson's, benztropine. Uh, the next one is trihexyphenidyl. Trihex. Okay, and antihistamines speak for themselves. Um, do be forewarned, in the elderly, uh, these drugs can precipitate delirium as well as urinary retention, so watch out for that. Moving right on to issues with cognition. So if we want to increase our cognitive abilities, what do we want to do? We want to increase acetylcholine. And there's four main drugs we'd use to accomplish this. I'm just going to move this out of the way. And I use this little mnemonic I came up with down in the bottom right hand corner uh, to remember these. Uh, so you're sick and tired of not being able to remember things, so you are ready to think good. It's perfect English. So R in ready is for rivastigmine. Okay, next, T in think is tacrin. G in good is galantamine. And D in good is donepazil. And that's all for now. Great job, and I'll see you guys next time.